<laughs> Hi, I'm Emma Bennett. And I'm Andy Lake. And welcome to Subculture, the show that sounds like it's about submarines, but is actually about youth trends and emerging music talent. That's right, so batten down the hatches and up Periscope because we're about to set sail. Andy, it's not about submarines. Oh, aye aye. <laughs> Coming up today, we'll be taught to bust some moves by York Breakdance. Yes, checking out an unusual side to one of the UK's hottest theme parks. And given a special performance by up and coming band Last Days of Disco. But first, here's the group to tell us about their music in their own words. Stunning. Hiya, guys. Hi. Hi, you're all right. How are you doing? Good, thank yeah, you. Good. Fantastic. Right, first question. Uh, love the name. Uh, how did you come up with it and who came up with it? Uh, it was actually a joint effort. We were all playing a group game of Scrabble, as you do. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we needed a band name at the time, and someone had uh, the letters LDOD, so we decided we'd uh, try and make something out of that. And Last Days of Disco came from it. And, and it stuck. Yeah, it just turns yeah. out it's a 90s film as well, so. That's great. That's yeah. fun. That's Maybe fantastic. that's how they came up with it, too. And uh, who won the game of Scrabble? I think we were all probably too yeah, exactly. drunk to finish it. Yeah, 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 just one of those nights. Fantastic. So, how long have you been together then, as a band? Uh, well, me and Matt have been. Uh, playing Same music one. together for about five years now. Okay. And then we went to university in Liverpool where we met Ed, who's from Liverpool, and James, yeah. who's from Bristol. Well, two years ago, for me, weren't it? About two years yeah. ago, we've been together properly, haven't we? Yeah. Mm. Fantastic, fantastic. And have you been gigging ever since, or what, what's, what's been going on? Yeah, mostly in Liverpool, aren't we? Yeah, we've been mm. in London recently, though. Played London a few times. Yeah. How was that? Was that, yeah? Brilliant. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. yeah, we had quite a few really people coming over to watch That's us. fantastic. Did you, yeah. did you hire a minivan to get down there? No, we didn't. We just, oh, we just no. drove down in our boring little cars. <laughs> 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 we, did, we did rent a car first time. We did rent days. a car first time, yeah, yeah but that was time. equally as dull, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 and just someone else's car. <laughs> fantastic. Oh. And uh, have you been recording anything? Uh, yeah, I'll let Matt fill this one. Go for it. We've just finished recording IEP, actually. What's that oh. called? We can't tell you that yet. You can't, we can't oh, tell goodness. you that yet. <laughs> I even, we haven't played Scrabble yet, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be out pretty soon. What's that going to have on it? Like four, maybe five songs? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's a bit, it's a bit of a secret of moment. Where can we get a hold of it? Well, your first part of call would be oh, the <laughs> website. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm giving you the opportunity yeah. to plug, guys. You plug yeah. away. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, uh, our website is www.ldodofficial.com. Mm -hmm. Or uh, check us out on Twitter at, at LDOD underscore official. That's where we up, keep everything up to date. So at Twitter, fantastic. Are mm -hmm. you regular yeah. tweeters? We are. Yeah. yeah. Well, are you really? Yeah. Because yeah. I haven't caught the bug yet. I haven't quite got the Twitter bug. Oh well, yeah. the Twitter bandwagon is nearly gone now. You're a bit late. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> just <laughs> stuck in the past completely. Fantastic. So what we got? We got website, Twitter. YouTube channels. YouTube channels. YouTube channels. Facebook as well. Goodness, yeah. you're absolutely you're all over everywhere. the shop, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> and have you got a load of followers? A load of cute girl followers all after you? Um, yeah. How, how many have we got now? About, about 18,000? 18, 18, got a load of worldwide accounts yeah, as well. Yeah, we've got about Australia. 50 worldwide accounts that they've all set up themselves yeah. into 50 different countries, sorry. Have, yeah. you ever ex have, have you ever received any weird gifts? We have. Yeah. Oh, oh go on. What's, 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 what's the yeah. weirdest? Go on. I've got some suit pyjamas. It's pyjamas, but as a suit. What? It's That's amazing. amazing. From a fan? Yeah. With a tie. It was for my birthday, yeah. it was brilliant. With oh. a tie as well. Yeah. Suit pyjamas. Fantastic. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> stunning stuff. Right. So, what's coming up next? Next, we have Last Days of Disco. Oh, well, they'll be performing, performing for us a little bit later. But first, let's find out how a theme park is saving endangered species. We tend to think of the modern zoo as fulfilling uh, four different roles, which are recreation or fun, entertainment, being a good day out. The more serious side of what we do can be divided into education, conservation and research. I'm proud that we're leading the way in terms of zoo-based research. So our circle department, the Centre for Research in Conservation and Learning, really is at the forefront of zoo-based research. 
So Circle is a research centre set up by the University of York here at Flamingo Land and the aim of Circle is to gather data to carry out research that will help us better conserve the natural world. Uh, and we do this in a number of ways. Uh, firstly, we have a, a conservation project that Flamingo Land funds in East Africa. It's called the Adzunga Forest Project. And on that project, we're gathering data to work out really how we can best measure that conservation is working. So we do things like survey uh, knowledge of local people, uh, we survey the animals and plants themselves, um, and that gives us a general impression for how, how good a job we're doing in those na natural habitats. We're also working on the design of zoo exhibits and, and the first project that we began here looking at exhibit design was on Humboldt penguins. Now this is a threatened species of penguin from South America um, and in zoo environments they're kept in various different ways. And so what we did was we gathered data on what the penguins do with their time. We looked at things like rates of breeding, how much time they spend swimming, how active they are. And we used these to, to assess really what the best way to design a zoo exhibit is for penguins. Um, so the end result was to build a new penguin exhibit here and the exhibit increased rates of swimming so the penguins are more active um, and we've also increased social interaction because the, uh, the colony is now very big and that's the key thing. If animals are kept in big social groups, um, as long as that reflects their state in the wild, um, it's more likely to result in animals that are behaving as, as they should do um, and active and healthy. The particularly successful project here that we have, um, we have many, um, but the, the, the one that perhaps is most exciting is that of the Scimitar horned oryx. And the Scimitar horned oryx is an animal that is, is actually extinct in the wild. It doesn't exist in any um, natural states. And, and zoos across the world have been working together to reintroduce the Scimitar horned oryx. And this animal once ranged all across North Africa. Um, so now what zoos are doing is that they're breeding them, uh, they're working with uh, institutions in North Africa to try and reintroduce them but not only that, work with their habitats again, work with local people uh, in order to try and maximise the, the future for these things. And, and it's actually working fairly well so far, so we're, we're quite positive in, in what's going to happen next. People are interested in volunteering, they can come along, uh, whether that's working with our sort of conservation breeding programme, so working with the species here at the zoo, um, if they want to get more involved in the sort of wider aspects of our conservation work, then we're always looking for people to sort of help us out with fundraising and, um, and, and getting the message out there about our conservation programme. So, yeah, and to be honest, just a visit to Flamingoland is directly helping conservation. You know, we fund the projects ourselves. So every visit to Flamingoland is directly supporting conservation. Lovely stuff. What a great job they're doing over at Flamingo Land. I know, Andy. We should go. We should, shouldn't we? A zoo, a theme park. And they're saving together. the environment. Fantastic. Perfect. Good on the Keep up the good work, guys. And now we are joined by York Breakdance Group, aren't we? Hi, guys. Hello. Who have we got here? I'm Stev. I'm PJ. I'm Mel. I'm Lloyd. I'm Joey. Fantastic. Great to have you on the show, guys. Fantastic. So how long have you been a, a crew? Is that the right word? Is that the hip word? Yeah, I guess so. We're a bit crew word, word, yeah. <laughs> Well, York Breakdance really is an umbrella term for all the crews in York. So everybody that breakdances in York is part of York Breakdance. We're a very, very friendly group, so everyone's always welcome. Fantastic, fantastic. And how long have you been a, how long have you been a group um, under that well, umbrella? York Breakdance, as such, for about 15 years. It started off as the Hip Hop Club. It's been about for 15 years. 15 years now, about nine. Most of you haven't been around for 15 years. <laughs> How old are you? Nine. Nine, definitely not 15 years. <laughs> um, yeah, it started off with graffiti and rap and breakdancing, and then about three or four years down the line, when um, a guy called Pete Wirt, who set it all up back in the day, couldn't <laughs> do his job anymore, unfortunately, it got handed over to a few select 18 year olds who were breakdancers. Yeah. And so they took it over, renamed it York Breakdancers, ever been the name since. 
Fantastic, fantastic. And, and uh, yeah, go, yeah, you go. Do you, do you think Andy's <laughs> cool enough to be a break dancer? What do you reckon, guys? Yeah. 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 Oh, cheers, yeah. guys. There that's you not go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's not the usual reaction, but thank you very much. Well, we'll find out a bit later we on. Will, we will. Yeah, we will. So if I, if I was good enough, perchance, mm -hmm. uh, how, how can people join? Well, anyone's always welcome, as I mentioned. Just turn up at one of the sessions. We'll set you up with a few basic moves, and then you can practice away at your own leisure, meet some of the breakdancers there, and learn from them. It's a really friendly environment, so everybody learns from everybody else. Fantastic. And where do we find out about your meetings? Where, whereabouts, are you, whereabouts are you based? You can go on our website, yorkbreakdance.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, and just have a look at York Breakdance. Our website's up at the moment, and um, yeah, just join the classes. They're all listed. We're at the Melbourne Centre, just down Fulford. That's where all our main sessions are held, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. And how do you how do you get money? Because I've heard. You know, rumours on the grapevine that, uh, that you go out and do a bit of busking, is that right? Yeah, we all do a bit of busking. Unfortunately, I couldn't make the last busking session, but you were all there, weren't you? I was there. Yeah. Yes. You were there. I was. So do you want to tell them about busking, PJ? Uh, well, we go, bus we go busking um, for uh, get money for uh, lino. <laughs> you get the money for your lino. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so we have a place to dance, and uh, that's it. Mm. Fan fantastic, lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Fantastic, great work, guys. And uh, we've got a little, uh, little clip here of you guys yeah. actually doing a spot of break dancing oh, in uh, in city centre. So can we have a little look at that? Let's have a little look at that. How cool is that? So cool. <laughs> I don't think I'm cool enough to be a breakdancer, Andy. I do, and it's probably just as well, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, well, thank you very much, guys, for coming and having an interview with us. We're now going to get our very own personal breakdancer lesson. Well, Andy is. One of us is. Mm, right. You are. Yeah. You're up. <laughs> this is me. This I'm going to sit here and watch. OK, then, guys, here we go. We're on the lino. You've got enough money for lino. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> OK, here we go. What are you going to teach me today? Well. We're going to go through a couple of breakdance moves. We're going to go for some top rock. Yep. And we're going to go for a freeze. Lovely stuff. We're going to put them together in a nice breakdancey fashion. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to start with our sh feet shoulder width apart. Okay. And we're going to go with a cross step. So our right leg goes all the way across. Okay. And your arms are going to come out. Lovely stuff. Back again. Okay. And the other way. With the left leg out diagonally. Keep the my arms balance. Out. There we go. There you go. Yeah. All the way back again. Lovely. That's that. Fantastic. So, to that step, we're going to add a little spin. Okay. So if you were to show me one of your finest spins. My, yes. Beautiful. How's that? Perfect. Excellent. And to that spin, we're going to add a freeze. Okay. So we're going to go cross step, spin, and the freeze is if you stand diagonally facing the corner of the room. Okay. Wide arms. Fantastic. Lean back and hug yourself as big as you can. Look into the camera and nod as yeah, though you've just break that. danced look at that. perfectly, <laughs> nicely. Well okay. done. So should we just quickly put it all together? Absolutely. So if I count five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two. three. Very nice. Spin. 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 Face the corner. Over there. Big arms. And to the camera. Very nice. good. Nice. Thank you very much. No, I'm, no, honestly, I'm not that good. Oh, there now, now I feel really hip. Okay, <laughs> right, okay, guys. Now uh, I'm sure you're a lot better than I am, so I'm going to leave it to you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. You ready? Right now we're going to do a song for you and this one is called I Am A Man.
again. Oh, yes. Wow, eh? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Very good. Oh, he's got he's got the style. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Well, that's that, isn't it? Oh, thank you so much, guys. Top job, <laughs> top job. Well, that's it for today's programme, our first ever episode, so we hope you enjoyed I it. I certainly did. Fantastic. Right, playing us out is Last Days of Disco with their exceptional single, Trigger Finger. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>